Because True. in this city, 200,000 people are malnourishing themselves. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to take a closer look at Israel. Israel is commonly known as the vegan capital of this world. Let's check it out. I eat meat. Good for you. But I have just arrived to a place where I don't need it. Yeah. What? This. All right, cut straight away. There is no place on earth where you do not need meat. Anatomically, physiologically, you need meat to survive and thrive. So it doesn't matter if you pick and choose another location on this planet. Your physiology won't change. Israel. It's the city that is considered the vegan capital of the world because True. in this city, 200,000 people are malnourishing themselves. Vegan, 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 wow. vegan. I am a vegan. Okay, did you see one healthy person there? Was there one radiant, vibrant person? I don't think so. It's the highest percentage in the world of vegans, which means in this city there are hundreds wow. of restaurants that use no eggs, no meat. I hate this upbeat music, it drives me crazy. No milk, no animals. It's just plants. And I'm not exaggerating <laughs> when I say that it's delicious. You like it, nice? He can't even what is speak, that? that's how much he loves it. Instead of chicken, they eat mushroom. All right, instead of chicken, they eat mushroom. That is great. Why do you do that? Because it mimics the texture of chicken. I understand. I've been there. I've been a vegan for four years. However, if you look into the nutritional profile of a mushroom, you cannot compare it to chicken. There are no B vitamins in mushroom. There is no biologically available protein in mushrooms either. And of course, you don't have any healthy fats, no omega-3s, nothing in mushrooms. Mushrooms are great for other purposes. If you want to know the secret of being, you will come with us. Beef, artichokes. Fantastic. So you replace beef by artichokes. Again, you don't need to be a doctor or a nutritionist to understand that an artichoke can never give you the nutritional profile of beef. Artichokes, milk, coconuts. <laughs> yeah, co <laughs> all over again. Just because we call it coconut milk doesn't make it milk. Try raising a baby on coconut milk it will die. That tells you everything you need to know about the so-called milk. And the meat is from mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms again. This burger is vegan. Congrats, bro. <laughs> Tel Aviv, people don't hate meat. I think they do. They just made so much delicious vegan food that you don't even need to eat meat. What is this video about? I don't get it. Some sort of vegan advertisement and what do they appeal to again? It's delicious. Your taste buds, right? As long as it's delicious, you're gonna be perfectly fine. Tastes just like meat. Hence, healthy, just like meat. Absolute bullshit. Stop confusing your taste buds. This won't deliver any nutrition. You're missing creatine, carnosine, cholesterol, B12, B6, vitamin D3 and whatnot. Just because it's delicious doesn't make it nutritious. That's one minute. Cringe. This video contains 0% meat. Congratulations, what an accomplishment. You're better than everybody else. All right, enough of that. Let's check out the next video. Now we're gonna see how vegan Israel's army is. <laughs> Let's check it out. Today is World Vegan Day, and I'm gonna show you the most vegan army in the world. Fantastic. <laughs> in the IDF, there are over 10,000 vegan soldiers. That's what All right, is it just me? Do I have too high expectations? Somehow those guys don't look like elite soldiers to me. Every 18 soldiers, every soldier has the freedom to choose. Vegan boots instead of leather ones. Congrats. Vegan berets instead of wool ones. <laughs> and vegan food options for every single meal. This uh, is Miri. Well, Hi, my the next name is Miri and I've been vegan for five years. All right, guys, let us clarify. In Israel, 
the military service is mandatory. Hence, they take anybody to pass their test. You're probably all right, as long as you have two legs to walk on. I don't want to hate on this girl, but you do not need me to tell you that she is not in tip top shape. But as always, the vegans will probably point me to studies and tell me that the BMI is not a healthy range for vegans. Look at this man, what the fuck? When I joined the IDF, <laughs> I knew that keeping a vegan lifestyle was important to me. Come with me and I'll show you what's for lunch. Carbs. We have salads, rice, <laughs> lentils, and even a stir fry. Fantastic. For me, being a vegan is about health and animal rights. Meanwhile, the American army is looking into the effect of ketogenic diets on warriors. Makes much more sense, obviously. And I am proud that I can continue doing my part for both people and animals. Happy International Vegan Day! Happy Vegan Day! All right, and this is it for today. Just two quick videos, a quick update on the situation in Israel, the so-called vegan capital of the world. Guys, again, you do not need me to tell you that this is absolutely pathetic. There was not one person that was in shape, not in the army or in the other vegan day video. It is absolutely ridiculous. It's every time we see vegans in person or on video, we do not see healthy people. It makes you question those vegan studies where they are oh so healthy. I have yet to meet one radiant healthy vegan. Everybody is battling some sort of melody. It is always the same. Either they're depressed, they're horribly pale, their teeth are rotting out, digestive issues, depression, the list goes on. Anyways, this is it for today. I'm not going to go into the politics behind it. I'm going to leave that to you guys. I'm going to leave it to your own interpretation. Feel free to engage in the comment section. Guys, if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. So we have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic, no matter if it is health, lifestyle or nutrition related. On top of that, by joining, you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide. It is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition, but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals, no matter if you're keto, primal, paleo, or even raw. Thank you very much for your support, guys. And if you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, guys, much love and peace.